Hey everyone, here's a quick demo of this MIDI controller I made for the HX Stomp and this uh, MIDI drive has like um, six drive pedals in there. And also this a demo of this expression slash volume pedal, which is pretty cool. Um, let's start with the controller. Um, so I think you could tell like uh, what this button does, it'll do preset up. Um, bridge, this is preset down, but I, I mislabeled it, whatever. And um, yeah, you could set up your snapshots, um, HX preset, and the blocks are uh, the HX stomp blocks, but it basically just sends a MIDI um, CC and then you can program it from here um, and all that. But uh, let's see what I have. Yeah, you could switch intro, verse, chorus. Go to preset two. There's seven or six presets on here, and within those six presets, you could do uh, four sub presets: intro, verse, chorus, all that bridge. Um, here, let's edit one. Here's a little rotary thing you could switch to, and it's also a button to edit. Um, and I programmed it so, you know, if you push it nothing happens just in case your foot pushes it you have to hold it down for a second or two and then you get into the menu um, drive section um, it just tells this thing what to turn on so right now the clones on the morning glory clones on but you could scroll through turn on the sweet honey um, that's pretty self-explanatory it also controls this gate pedal over here. I just put a noise gate. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to sell that too. I don't need this noise gate anymore. It's all MIDI controlled. The noise gate connects with uh, this little um, eighth inch here. And then this MIDI drive just has a regular five pin DIN for MIDI. Anyway, once you, you know, scroll through, it'll save it. And let's let's go back to the HX menu. So this menu just basically, you know, your blocks. And earlier I was saying, you know, this just sends MIDI CC to either be on, do nothing, or turn it off. And you actually have to program your preset here first. Um, I don't even remember how I do this. I think it's bypass the sign. At least I thought it was. Oh yeah, bypass the sign, and if you hit learn, and then hit one of these, it'll, you know, it'll send a MIDI CC, and you could learn whatever, and then save it to your preset, so you could turn each block that you program on and off. Um, you could also set the preset for the HX stomp so whatever if you want it you know the verse to be preset 2 it'll change this to preset 2 um, same with snapshots if you program the snapshot in here um, it'll change it to the preset 2 and snapshot A or B or C or just do nothing um, save it and you can go to, I forgot what's miscellaneous. Oh, and you, there's also like, you could tell it to send a um, PC MIDI program, program control, control, um, yeah, CC, sorry, I blanked out, um, to another, another MIDI device. So, I mean, you could daisy chain MIDI devices, right? Um, this copy, you could copy, you know, the same preset you just set up to you know, any one of these. Um, yeah, pre preset 3, A, A just means intro, B is verse, C chorus, D is bridge. So we'll just save it there. Uh, what else is there? Um, there's a setup menu. So uh, I program, you could set up, in the setup menu, you could program these foot switches. 
So this doesn't have to be intro all the time. Um, short press, it could be, you know, it's programmed to verse, and then long press, it'll turn off the morning glory on when you release it. So let's go to setup menu, and same thing, you just hold it down. Oops, I think I pushed, turned it. Yeah, so this is a MIDI channel for the drive. It's MIDI 10 and S1 just means short, foot switch 1. So short press does A, which I said earlier is intro. But I mean, you could scroll through, you know, change the bridge, preset up, preset down, turn the clone on. These are all short press. So just press it once and then it'll, it'll do whatever. Here we'll do Zen Drive and we'll keep that the same. And then the next page is. Uh, the long press and also the MIDI channels for the HX and then the other MIDI device if you have one. So the HX is um, MIDI channel 12. Um, long press, same thing. This is set to turn Klon on, but let's do uh, the full drive. Go through, go through, saves it. So now, what was this? Uh, what was I forget? I already forgot. Okay, full drive. So hold this down for full drive. Long press. I think short press we kept the same. No. Oh, Zen drive. There you go. So short press turns on the Zen drive. Long press turns on the full drive. There you go. Um, yeah, you can program it however you want. Um, I'll put it. I'll put like all the possibilities in in like a description or something for the ad. On reverb um, what else is there this um, expression volume pedal um, you wire it just like a volume regular volume pedal it doesn't go in the um, expression jack it doesn't take up a block basically that's why I built it um, so you have you know your regular signal in signal out and then the expression part goes into the HX stomp and um, yeah, there's like a foot switch I put on here. And you could assign it. Um, I actually thought I already assigned it, but anyway. So what it does is when you hit the foot switch, it'll true bypass the volume pot. So it, it'll just go straight through at regular, you know, unity volume. But then this now becomes a expression pedal for the HX stomp. And then when you hit it again, the, eight, the expression pedal turns off and you can turn the block off to um, all programs with the HX and then it turns back into a regular volume pedal. Um, yeah, that's a pretty quick rundown. But feel free to message me if you have questions if the video doesn't describe everything. I know it's kind of a lot to cover, but it's, it's pretty straightforward to be quite honest. So yeah, message me if you have any questions. Thanks.